All right, here's here's a again. I talked about how how Chaffee's sort of the reason why I wanted to do this book, and this is a classic example, good leadership lesson learned for anybody here. Back to the book. Another order came up which sounded dumb. So dumb, I thought Chaffee was jollying us. The order was to pick up all the brass expended along the line and send it back for salvage. Brass is the military term for empty shell casings ejected from weapons when bullets are fired. In the States, on the firing range, you're supposed to pick up the brass to police the area to keep it neat. But here, the following morning, Chaffee, as usual, was up and down the company front with his wolf's lope, moving fast without seeming to, seeing everything, knowing everyone. He called me into the CP when he got back. Your machine gunners aren't picking up the brass. It's piled up around the guns and down the slope. Didn't you give them the order? I said I hadn't considered it a serious order. All orders are serious, Chaffee said and turned away. I was ashamed and angry. It was a ridiculous order, but Chaffee was right. I should have carried it out. Now he caught me doping off. This was a chaffy. This was a chaffy I hadn't seen before. A man with whom you didn't play games. I would not again. I didn't want to look. I didn't want that cold look coming down on me again. He didn't shout or curse when he chewed you out, but he didn't have to. You understood. So that's any of these. Anybody that thinks they're yelling and screaming and that's having this huge impact, you're probably wrong. Mm-hmm. You're probably wrong. You should seldom have to do that if you're in a leadership position. Back to the book. I hustled down the line to give the necessary orders to the gunners who looked at me as if I were mad. I said they were Chaffee's orders and to be obeyed. Shrugging and sulky, they started picking up the brass. So what does he do? What does Brady do? He gets down there and says, hey, guys, pick up the brass. And when they start looking at him like, oh, this is ridiculous, he goes, hey, look, it's Chaffee. Chaffee told us to do it, so do it, mm-hmm. which is not good leadership. That's not good leadership. Right, he's passing the buck on up the chain of command. Hey, this is boss's. This is the boss's plan. I don't agree with it, but we have to do it anyways. Yeah. Wrong, and he finds out how, just how wrong it is here. Back to the book. It was not until later I learned that the order was from Young Doll, and that Chaffee too thought it was inane. But in Dog Company, he issued orders as if they were his own idea without passing the buck or permitting any reflection on higher authority. It would take time before I learned to do the same. So when you pass that word, you can argue all day long up the chain of command. But once the decision's been made and now you're talking to the boys, that's your order now. That's your plan. That's your idea. You own it. 